Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be unveiling a powerful PowerPoint design tailored specifically for dynamic data representation. But before we dive in, do ensure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on all the latest content. Now, let's jump straight into the video. First off, right click on an empty slide and navigate to format background. Let's jazz things up by changing the color and boosting transparency by 50%. Next, let's insert rounded bar shape and position it on the left side. Remove any outlines and infuse it with vibrant colors. Now, let's duplicate it and create a series of rounded bars, each with its distinct color. We're aiming for 5 visually captivating bars here. Moving on, let's introduce a new shape known as the Terminator. Overlap a new rectangle onto the previous icon as demonstrated in the video. Select both shapes and merge them through fragmentation. Then bid farewell to the rectangle icon. This process yields two separate terminator shapes, which will seamlessly combine, removing outlines, and grouping them for a polished look. Position this amalgamation to the left of the first rounded bar. Ensuring a harmonious color scheme. Remember, the bar color and half of the terminator should be same. Now, let's insert a text box to represent the percentage of each bar, opting for a crisp white text color. Adding another text box to denote the name of each bar, we'll opt for a sleek black. these elements together streamlines the process. Duplicate the icon and repeat the process for the remaining bars, adjusting as needed. For added flair, rotate the labels of the last two bars by flipping them horizontally. For a cohesive aesthetic, ensure the percentage indicators match the color of their respective bars. 
Grouping all elements facilitates easy adjustments. Introduce another shape called the rounded single corner rectangle. Positioning it on the right side. Remove any outlines for a clean finish. Now, let's overlay a new terminator shape onto the left corner of the rectangle until half is visible. After sending it to the back and removing any outlines, group them together. The rectangle should sport a lighter color than the first bar. Insert the number 1 inside the terminator and add text boxes for a headline and description.
Duplicate this group 4 times, adjusting numbers and colors to match the other bars. Introduce a text box to display the topic in the top left corner. the first slide change the color like gray out for all bars and text boxes except first bar and its associated text box Repeat this process for the remaining slides, each time graying out the bars and text boxes except for the one pertinent to that slide.
Finally, select all slides and apply the morph transition for a seamless presentation. Embrace this next level slide design for your presentations. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.